and welcome to your daily love reading. I want to thank you for joining my channel or coming to my channel. Please join and subscribe um, so you can get my alerts for your birthday lives. I am doing a recorded uh, daily for you guys as well because um, for those of you who miss the live sessions that I'm doing every day during Leo season um, because I am deleting them after uh, we have the live because I'm just answering questions so it really doesn't pertain to anyone outside of the chat if that makes sense so thank you Leo's who joined me yesterday that was a lot of fun I'm excited to go live again today um, I haven't quite decided yet so uh, what time it'll be so please please subscribe so you get alerted when I am live answering your love questions in Leo season so I am going to tip you down here so we can get the cards out for you. What is Leo dealing with in love today? Also, make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe because I've had a lot of people message me that they didn't get alerted when I went live yesterday and they uh, missed the live session. Um, they didn't get there until the end. So make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Um, so you get alerted right away when I'm going live. So back to your reading, your first card out in your energy, Leo's is the star, beautiful, amazing energy. The person you're dealing with is Leo dealing with in love. For a lot of you, I feel you're, you're turning a corner in a relationship. I just, that's what I keep hearing. You're finally turning a corner. So, um, so a big surprise, some big change may be coming for you um, in the new moon tomorrow. Leo's person, thank you. The four of wands, nice. Well, maybe this is the corner we are finally turning and the energy coming towards you, the lovers. Well, Leo, I don't think I could get this much better for you. Okay. Sorry. I had a fly on my leg. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Spirit's advice for this connection is the Six of Swords and the outcome for this uh, relationship or connection. What's the outcome today? Wow. Temperance. Amazing. The bottom of your deck. Judgment. Turning that corner. Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. The next card out is the Ace of Cups. So a beautiful opportunity for big love is here for you guys. So, your shared energy, judgment. It's like once you set foot through the other side of, you know, it's like, it's like two worlds. Once you step through the arch, there's no going back. You can't change who you are. You can't change what happened. Um, okay, I'm being told to read out of the book for this deck which is weird because I usually don't with this deck so there must be a very important message worded exactly the way they want you to know it I don't even know which order okay so with the judgment card it says I am your guide Ooh, that just gave me chills I am your guide you're about to reach a new stage in your life there's that turning the corner and I'm here to help you through the transition. You've already realized that you need to live your life in a, in a whole new, different way. And I'm showing up to confirm that to you, it is indeed the case. I am your calling. You are the action. At this point in your growth, you know all you need to know to move to the next level. The past is behind and that's the right place for it to be. The real adventure starts now and opens up your future. 
This is also a good time for a personal cleansing. Get rid of guilt, sorrow, and past mistakes. Purge your soul. Start afresh. If you're at a crossroad, trust your judgment. Your past experiences made you who you are, and you can keep the best of them to begin a whole new chapter. This is a time for a new beginning, and a whole new world is arising for you. You are experiencing a rebirth. Move on and move to the next stage of your life. Oh my gosh, I have so many goosebumps. That is absolutely amazing. Well, no wonder why they wanted me to read it out of the book. That is awesome. Clarifying um, the judgment is the two of pentacles. So this is all about... Well, hold on, I'll just read it out of the book. It says, Do you recognize me? Tonight I look like a princess, but I haven't always been one. Yesterday I was juggling a lot of hard tasks. Today I'm going to have fun, but however, I mustn't forget the clock. Everything can change again in a second. I have learned that life is always unpredictable. You have to keep patient, flexible, and open mind. Finding balance is a delicate operation. You must use your time wisely. Cope with your family needs. Do the duties like a good girl, but also make your dreams come true. If you manage it all, you'll have a happily ever after. It will be sure to find you. So you're really stepping into a new world. You are going after what it is that you want. And this is your shared energy. You also have the seven of swords. And this is about um, somebody who's running from the light. Running away before somebody uh, discovers um, what has been done. The cheating, the lying. Um, it's like the moon is so bright. They're trying to run from the light. They don't want things to come to the surface. They don't want things to come um, to light. So either you or the person you're dealing with, it's like they're running from responsibilities or running from something they've done in the past. They could have, um, been juggling this energy and now you're really stepping through the door, leaving the past in the past and stepping into, you know, you're answering the call of your soul with the star being in your energy this is all about doing the work and making your wishes and dreams come true um you know this is here to to tell you that there is hope there is inspiration um and faith is what you need right now uh just know that that nothing is impossible right now your future is is going to be good it's going to be sweet it's going to be what it's meant to be and it's going to be fulfilling happy wishes coming true um believe in magic believe in yourself believe in luck um just know that the stars are shining in your favor and you will receive your destiny right in the right time the person that you are dealing with, they have the four of wands. So they're trying to get gain their own stability in their life right now. They're trying to, um, they could be dealing with a home situation. Let me get a clarifier here. Three of pentacles. So they're trying to figure out a home situation. They're trying to figure out whether or not to come towards you. Um, they do have their own vices. They do have their own temptations. Um, and they have somebody else they share a home with. But keep the faith. Keep wishing. There has been, you know, hurt and deceit and juggling in the past. But know that you are here to start a whole new life, whether it be with this person or not. Your wishes are going to come true, whatever, ha whatever that is for you. So you just have to have faith and believe in magic and it will come in for you. Why is the lovers here as the energy in the future? So there is a choice being made, but it's like there was never any choice because look at how they look at each other in the eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like a love they have never shared with anyone else before. It's true. It's real. It's vulnerable. It's, it's intense. It's raw. It's scary. It's exciting. It's everything wrapped into one. And it's also your soulmate with the two of cups, your perfect identical match. Look at that. Um, and it's coming in when you have confidence in yourself. You know you've done the work. You know you've worked hard to get to this point and have faith and know that they will see your value with that nine of pentacles and they will come forward and um, 
the two of you can move forward in your destiny. In the energy of the Six of Swords and uh, Spirit's Advice. Whoa. You have the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This is all about um, experiencing the pain and learning from it. Moving forward. Um, leaving the hurt in the past and following the warmth of the sun to your future. Um, this is... This person could have left you in the dark. They could have ghosted you. There could be complete silence right now. And you're wondering, what do I do? Um, is this person even coming towards me? Do they even love me? They do. But you have to follow your own inner light. And this inner light is going to bring you to reconciliation. Um, yeah, because the tower is in reverse. So the healing from this, this tower already happened. It's in the past. So you have to move for away from that tower in the past and follow your own inner light and it's going to bring you out of the darkness it's going to bring you to this place of balance of healing of peace of you know tranquility of self-love self-balance yeah and it's being clarified with the nine of wands in reverse there isn't going to be any more battles to fight lay the burden of the past in the past and step through that that portal of judgment. Step into the new world so you can find this peace. Look at how beautiful that card is. Allowing the light to fill the inner light to fill you up. Why is temperance here? As the outcome. Whoa, way too many. It's like you feel like the fire is chasing you, but um Yeah, but all you have to do is nourish yourself and it will extinguish those flames. Um, the Four of Swords is here. So you have taken the time to allow the uh, the pain or the truth to the truth has has stopped you enough to this point. It's time to release that. It's time to come out of um, seclusion. You have you could have been like you know, hiding away from the world for a while, the time is now to move forward, to find that peace, to close out this cycle, um, to know that you have mastered this lesson and to follow the warmth of the sun, to step into the path you're meant to take because this is your call. Make sure you answer it because when you do, your king will come back to you. Your queen will come back to you um, because there will be a stable foundation to build this new world on to leave the old in the past and to move forward um, to a new beginning for the two of you so i hope you enjoy that message leos i'm going to be back up for a second um i will be going live today again to answer love questions that you guys have um i will not be posting it afterwards i delete it because it it doesn't pertain to anybody outside of the chat so if you want in on that live um, if you missed yesterday and you want to check it out, make sure you be watching for your notifications. Um, I had so much fun. I can't wait to do it again today. So I send you much love, Leos, and I'll see you in a little bit. God bless.